Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how I'm going to freeze dry oranges and lemons. So a lot of people just cut them and they leave the rind on. I'm not going to do that. I like freeze dried oranges without the rind. That way you can just pick them up and shove them in your mouth. They are so the, the sweetness is so compacted when you freeze dry them, it knocks your socks off. Now I did set aside a few oranges in my free, my refrigerator. Um, for some reason, when I'm working hard outside and I am super, super thirsty, the only thing that quenches my thirst is an ice cold orange. I know it's weird, I have issues. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the orange. I'm gonna cut the, t the edge off, see that? I'm gonna try a little bit more. I'm not saving my orange peels or my lemon peels for um, uh, vinegar, I'm not saving them. I've been there, done that before. I have a lot saved up, I don't need any more. I'm not gonna cook them on my stove, I'm just gonna put them in my compost pile. So that's what I do, that's how I peel the orange, okay? And then I'm gonna slice it now this is probably going to take around, well, well over 24 hours because see how juicy, see how juicy they are? So I'm going to set them on and I'm putting them on parchment paper because of the sugar content, okay? So we'll do one tray. I mean, you can peel these by hand if you want to. I don't. I just run a knife down the edge. Okay, super easy, super fast. There's a little bit left. You can leave that on, you can take it off, whatever you wanna do, All right? So now I'm just gonna turn them on their side, slice them. So when I'm done with these, um, then I'm going to put them in the freezer because when you put frozen items in the freeze dryer, it cuts the amount of time off, okay? And we have a meter and it shows that with our rates, um, we have a three-tier plan for our electric. So... Certain time of the day, it's one price. The peak part of the day, like around 4 p.m., it goes to a higher price. And then after four, or what is it, after seven or something, then it goes down to the lower, another lower price. So we figured out, and then we, we averaged the three prices, the three different prices that we have on our power. I think that's just another way of our power company ripping us off. So we figured out that we pay 13 cents an hour using our freeze dryer. Now it's gonna be different for you guys because you don't have the same crazy uh, utility company that we have, Pacific Gas and Electric. We hate them, <laughs> we hate them. Um, but it's about 13 cents an hour. And it takes about 24 hours for most foods. Um, some foods take 18. So I can live with that cost because it's saving me food in the long run. It's saving me price, it's, you know, saving me grocery store costs in the long run. Now these, uh, uh, these uh, oranges and lemons were given to us. And, um, I don't want to waste them. But once you've had the freeze-dried oranges, oh my gosh, guys, they are so good. They're very addicting. Now, I do the same to kiwi, too. I freeze-dry kiwi. So let me get these oranges done. Okay, so I have all the trays done. Let me bring you over and show you. Look at that pure goodness. Look at the juice. Just look at all that juice. 
So it's going to take longer for these to freeze dry than something that doesn't have like a lot of juice, like maybe your ro cooked roast or something, because um, it has to go through all this juice. So I'm going to freeze this first, and then I'm going to put them in the trays, and I'll bring you guys back when they're all done. Okay, guys, these are all done. They were in for 28 hours, and you see all the white? That's the sugar, guys. That's how sweet these are. Look at that. Look at how the sugar, how it crystallized. Isn't that wonderful? They are so dang good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. These are really, really good. Mmm. So there you go. Freeze-dried oranges.